Joey, you will never know how much Boozer misses you. Gotta get the debt cord. Schizo's cabin. Let's see what you got, Schizo, old buddy. How do I ever trust this asshole? Hello. This schizo won't be needing this. <sighs> Gotta go see Addy, get this arm fixed up. Can't let it get infected. We know what that means. Oh. Mm. I can't do this anymore. It's okay, I'm fine. What's going on? I'm a goddamn veterinarian. I went to school to cure colic and heaves and hoof disease. Does this look like a fucking hoof to you? Addie, no, Addie. you saw what happened to Boozer. I can't do this. Addie, Addie. so many wounded. Addie. And so many dying. Addie. Deacon, I am not a doctor. Okay, maybe not. But you're all we've got. So Addie's not a doctor, huh? Okay, so you're not a doctor and you still saved Boozer's life. That's gotta count for something. Hey, Deke. So I want to go check on the explosives to make sure, you know, the Rippers didn't steal them, and then I went to Schizo's cabin to check on the deck cords, but I should have just come straight here and saved some time. Get the hell out of here, Ricky. I guess we can go blow up that cave, right? I'll come with you. <sighs> when I was a kid, my dad found a rat's nest underneath one of our sheds. You want to know what he did? Can't even guess. Well, I waited till morning. They'd all be asleep. He laid a piece of plywood over the hole and told me to go get the garden hose. And he said to me, I never forget what he said to me. He said the best way to kill a rat's nest is to drown him. You can blow up the reservoir above the camp? Oh, that's an idea. Deacon, you can't. They want to rest in De peace. I'm going to help them out. Deacon, you can't do that. Why is that? Because Iron Mike is this some fucking treaty. You know, I want to cut Schizo's throat, but he's right about one thing. Carlos ain't gonna stop, Rippers ain't gonna stop, and you know it. Are you sure this isn't personal? Fuck yeah, it's personal.
Boozer, I'm heading to the gate. You ready? Way ahead of you, brother. Okay, I'm almost there. Nice rifle. Yeah, a little present from Schizo. Remind me to be there when you give it back to him. He'll be there. <laughs> that goddamn Schizo. So what are we gonna do with the bastard? I mean, we're not letting Iron Mike put him on trial, are we? No, we're not. All right, so what's the plan? I know the area pretty well. Sarah uh, worked out of a lab south of Iron Butte Ranch. I used to ride out there, pick her up for lunch. Harder to ride on some of those back roads. Jesse, Carlos, whatever the hell he's calling himself. He's taken over the old golf course and resort. Just south of the lodge is the Crescent Lake Reservoir. Now we blow that dam, that lake's gonna flood down into the valley and it's gonna drown them all, like rats. Okay, but isn't the lodge up on a hill? Yeah, yeah, flood probably won't do much to it, but it'll do enough damage to the rest of the Ripper compound to take out most of his men. Uh, and if Jesse survives, he won't see us coming. You got it. Now we just got to figure out how to get into the Iron Butte Valley without being seen, yeah? I'll get us there. You just hang on. Better. Right, come on. We 
gotta finish this. Right behind you. Can use this. You don't need these. south from here. Following you. easy. Nope. Okay. Hey, what are you doing? Figured I'd take this bag of explosives down there and ask him if they didn't mind us, you know, blowing him the fuck up. Boozer. Look, you stay up here with Skizzo's rifle and keep him off me while I set the charges. Oh, hold, hold on. Look, I got this. I'm not much good in a firefight, but I can plant these charges. I've set demo charges before, Boozer, in Afghanistan. I know exactly where to put them. Good. Tell me where to go when I'm down there. We're doing this? Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm gonna be up in this tower. Should give me a good view of the entire dam. I'll wait here until you get up there. Done. All right, moving on to the next one. 
Nice job, Booze Man. Keep going. You got this. Nice job. I thought that was gonna be close. Keep going, Boozer. Come on. Come on. And I'm setting the second charge. Wait a minute, was this already? <laughs> <laughs> well, that never gets old, does it? Uh. Brother, you, uh, you did a hell of a job back there. Yeah? I thought I was done for a couple of times. 
Yeah, I'm sorry about that. What the hell are you talking about? This is the most alive I've felt since... Ah, uh, shit. You remember when we got trapped by that horde in Tumalo? We ain't done yet. How many you think we killed? I don't know. They had it coming, right? Yeah, they had it coming. Guess we all did. Right, looks like we're going on foot from here. You want to stay? Keep any stray rippers from ripping off my bike? Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about that. And fuck that. This? This is on Jesse. You want some payback? I want some fucking payback. Come on, let's head to the lodge. Like I said, right behind you. Jesus. This must be what it looked like after Noah's flood. Came and washed away all the wicked. Yeah, except God had nothing to do with this one. Yeah. I get my point. Ah, oh, shit! More rippers. How the hell did they survive? Oh, they didn't. They just don't know it yet. Deke! Our left! Our left! Yeah, yeah, I got this. It's a breaker. Boundies.
Carlos, show me the way. Get the bastard! Free! Free! Retreat! Started. Hey, these guys seem more jacked up than usual. Hell yeah. They must have snorted up the rest of. There's no way you're getting up there. <laughs> yeah. That is not Carlos up there, okay? Not this founder, rest in peace. It's fucking Jesse Williamson. Fucking low-life piece of shit scumbag who got what was coming to him. All right. Now you fucking go up there and kill that son of a bitch. Good being on this shit again, you know. I gotta say, shoveling shit and you know, pulling weeds. I don't know, maybe it isn't such a bad way to spend the day. Yeah. Wow. With Jesse gone, how many do you think are left? People that we knew from before, I mean. So there's no one left. Shit. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Me too. Come on, let's get the yeah, fuck out of here. Well, like I said, I I know we haven't talked in a few years. 
Guess I disfigured with my Elizabeth being there with you and all. It probably wasn't much point in me yammering away at you. Now and then, and what with all hell breaking loose, I, I thought maybe you weren't there, or you just didn't give a shit. Pardon my language. I guess that's why I'm here. Say, I still don't know. I hope you're there. I hope there's some reason for all this shit we're living through. That's all. We'll, we'll, we'll talk again some other time. Oh, um, amen. Deke? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Ricky told me that I could find you here. Oh! Uh, ah, it's just these knees of mine, you know. It's reason I haven't been praying all these years. Yeah, I'm not a... I'm not a church-going type. Even after living through that shitstorm in Sherman's camp. But now... After all this, I just thought, hell, I... maybe it, now it's the time. I, uh... I didn't have a choice, Mike. Oh, everybody's got a choice, Deke. Until they're dead. It's either us or them. <laughs> it's always us or them. Always! You know the reason we're going to hell? is we can't figure out that us is every goddamn soul that ain't walking around in shit-stained pants trying to eat us! All right, you know what? You may not like it, but the world is what it is. Yeah, it is. Praying ain't gonna change that. Wishing that it was something else ain't gonna make it that way, Mike. Wish it ain't got anything to do with it. We make the world what it is by what we do. All of us. I let him go. Schizo. Ain't no way he was getting a fair trial. You let him go. Told him to ride out, not come back. Jesus Christ, Mike, do you have any idea what the fuck you've done? Yeah. I stopped another killing. And you know what? I guess I'm good with that. Yeah. No, this is your clutch. I know where the clutch is. Right, do you want me to show you how to do this or not? 
Yes, but I know what a clutch is. Okay, fine. All right, you do it yourself, okay? Fine. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? You can't park here. Uh, I'm just here to pick it's up Sarah. Private property. Now turn around. Get the hell out of here. Come on. Okay. <sighs> Move it. Yep. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, you know what, though? I think I'm just gonna wait right here. You can go back to doing your guard the cornfields thing. This is Officer Moore at the gate. We got an issue here. Hey, listen, asshole. This is a restricted area. I told you, get the hell out of here. Okay. Hey, hey, you just wait right there. I told you. Move it. It's like I was trying to say. I'm just here you to pick up... Did you not see that sign? Oh, look at that. That's kind of hard to miss. I am authorized to use deadly force. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hey, whoa, 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 what's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Whitaker. It's, it's what? fine, Jim. Do you know this asshole? Yeah, he's with me. He's with me. Sorry, ma'am. I, I on, didn't know go. that. It's fine. Honestly, I apologize. Shh. Oh, and Jim. Deacon. I'm not with her. She's with me. Hold on tight. Why do you always do that? Do what? Act like such a dick. Oh, come on. He started it. What are you, five? Hey, watch the clutch. Remember, you gotta give it enough gas, rev up the RPMs. I got this. Yeah, I can hear. Where are we headed? Over to the dam. That's a nice, quiet road, right? Are you driving? No. Are we still going out tonight? You said something might come up. Oh, uh, crap, yeah. Uh, Boozer and the boys want to ride down to Klamath State, visit Jack. So you're gonna blow me off to go see some guy in prison? Jack's not some guy. I know, I know. I was kidding. Oh shit, look out! Oh, shit. God. <sighs> Jesus. I don't know what it is, but every time I'm on a bike with you, some idiot in a truck tries to run us off the road. Oh, my God. No, no, no. no. Listen, listen, listen. You did great. You did great. Uh, most people, they would have panicked. They would have oversteered, and that would have gotten us killed. I almost did get us killed. I was... <sighs> no, no. I wasn't paying attention, and I was distracted. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. You're okay. Wait a second. What did, what did you mean, distracted? No, it's just stuff going on at work. It's nothing. I just... Oh. Okay. I'll... I just thought maybe you uh, saw my new patch. Your what? No. Nomad? Wait, you, you quit the club? No, I didn't quit the club. I would never quit the club. Uh, uh, nomad, what it means is, um, well, I'll be less involved from now on. Deke, I didn't ask you to do that. Oh, I know, I know, and if you had, I would have said no. <laughs> you ready to try this again? Yeah, I mean, no, but yeah, I will. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for saving my life. <laughs> well, you know, I do what I can. Hey, hey, the clutch, the clutch. I know what the clutch is. Okay, no, no, the... Deacon. So, uh, you think your parents are gonna come? The wedding? I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I thought if I stepped back from the MC that, uh... I don't think it's gonna matter to them, Deacon. But you're gonna, you're gonna at least tell them. Yeah, if you want me to. Look, it's just, I'm not gonna change who I am and who you are to make my uptight, middle-class parents happy. Okay. Look out! I see them. Hey, are they, are they headed to your work? What about the MC? Are any of them coming now that you've gone nomad? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's probably been a while since any of them set foot in a chapel. 
Uh, and you really want 27 Harleys rolling up in that little church in Marion Forks? Yeah. You know what? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, okay. What's going on? I don't know. Miss Whitaker. Yeah. She's been trying to get a hold of you. Says it's urgent. It's always urgent. Let him know I'll be right there. Okay. I gotta go. Hey, hey. <sighs> Sorry. It's fine. It's probably just a fire alarm or something small. Okay. How come, Dad? <clears throat> Love you. Um, just call me later. I'm sorry. Whatever. Addy, whatever, Ricky. I'm sorry. God damn. Clearance. Clearance. Uh, O'Brien, this is St. John. Come back. O'Brien, this is St. Just answer your goddamn radio! St. John, didn't think I'd hear from you again. Yeah, neither did I. All right, listen, that night you bugged out. You told me that you didn't take any civilians. You just took uh, Nero personnel, feds, people with clearance. I told you Shut up, shut up, shut up. Listen to me. Sarah, my wife, she had clearance. She had her ID badge with her the night that I put her on your chopper. I so don't think just do me a favor, look it up. Sarah Irene Whitaker. She worked at Cloverdale. She had federal clearance. She was doing, uh, I don't know, research pharmaceutical. I don't know what she, the hell she okay, was doing. Just okay. do me. I'll see what I can find. Okay, great. O'Brien, remember, you owe me. Yeah, yeah. O'Brien out. Used to be a cop, believe it or not. Farewell. I think we had a pretty good. Hey, Deke. Training Hi. Hey, I heard. You know, I mean, what you did for us, how you, the Rippers, all of them. I just, I know you had to do it. What else was gonna stop them? You know. Yeah. Look, Blair. I'm not proud of what I had to do. You know that, right? I mean, it had. We had to. <laughs> Look, they were coming. Yeah, yeah, I know. You don't have to explain anything to me. I was here when they attacked, remember? I... I don't know. I guess I'm just tired, you know? Yeah, I know. St. John, this is O'Brien. O'Brien, what do you got? I need to see you in person. Oh, Jesus, O'Brien, just... Would you tell me what you found? Is, is she... Is she alive or isn't she? I have something to give you. O'Brien. I've transmitted the coordinates. Meet me there. O'Brien out. O'Brien. Oh, God damn it. Dean, Iron Mike's looking for you. He said... Booze, man, listen. Just uh, tell him I'll be back. I gotta... You remember what I told you? Um, the night that Sarah died, Nero, they bugged out. They only took their own people, feds and people who had federal clearance levels. Deke, what the hell are you talking about? Look, it's probably nothing, but there's something I gotta do. Deacon out. Possibly have left to say that I would give a damn about. Hmm. Who you knew?
Me and a couple of guys burned out a nest a few weeks back. You know, a freaker nest. Hold on. A female. Hey. What do you think about this? This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. The war on terror. Global warming. None of that matters now that we're in the shit. But it's all just part of the goddamn conspiracy. So listen up. The war on terror is just smoking mirrors. Start by good old Uncle Sam. Using war as an excuse to look for weapons of mass destruction that didn't exist. And global warming. Just a bunch of lying scientists. Well, in the pockets of those gutted to profit off of all the doom and gloom. arguing about polar ice caps and genetically altered food and jihad, then we're blind to what's really going on behind the curtain. Don't be fooled by all their misdirection, folks. They point one way, you look straight at them. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. So your sage advice, Cope, is to assume that everyone's just lying their ass off. Is that about it? So, Jesus... That's, uh, it's actually pretty good advice, for once. A little late, but it's good advice. Deke? Hey, we got a job for you. Ricky, hey, um, okay. Yeah, I'll check in, Deke, you know. Nothing like scrap. and thieves and I can't let any of them escape.
need this? This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Let me tell you, before this shit, we were numb and we were dumb. We were blindly taking in opiates of all kinds, keeping us sedated like fat, happy cows. Candy, television, booze, heroin, and it worked. But now, well, we're feeling the pain. All of it. Every cut. We are wide awake, and we are watching. You see the truth of what I've been saying from the beginning. No one can get anything past us. We're the ones running the show now. And we're doing it a damn sight better than the feds ever did. Take a deep breath and hold it in. You're a free man. No one can take that from you again. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe it. That's a murdering secret. You like the set of ambushes? Yeah. Ammo left. Shit, empty. Pull it back. It's clear. Now you know how it feels, being on the other end of it, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see if they got an underground bunker around here.
Ah, yeah, yeah, here it is. Looks like they marked it up good. Crafting. Hello. 